Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice rational equation. I think this problem appeared in a couple different math competitions as well as a math journal called Parabola. But I'm not exactly sure which competition. Anyways, we have 1 over a plus b plus x equals 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over x. Obviously, this is something that's not always true, so it's not an identity, but it's only uh, true for certain values of x. So, we're going to be solving for x in terms of a and or b. Okay? So, let's go ahead and start by making a common denominator. So, on the left-hand side, we have what we have. On the right-hand side, the common denominator is a, b, x. So we got to multiply by bx and then by ax and then by ab. All of that is divided by abx. Awesome. Obviously, we do need some requirements like uh, a plus b plus x should not be 0. So x cannot equal negative a minus b. And obviously, x should not be 0 either. Other than that, everything looks good. Let's cross multiply. If we do we get the following. Let's do this first. I have a plus b a plus x. Let me write it this way first. And I'm going to show you how to kind of group terms. Because you don't want to multiply everything by everything. And obviously this is equal to a b x times 1, which is a b x. Here, a plus b can be taken as a single quantity because a and b are constants. Or I guess you could call them parameters. So we can go ahead and multiply this by the x terms. But this is b plus b times b plus a times x. So when we multiply a plus b and b plus a, a plus b and b plus a are the same. So you can kind of write it as a plus b squared x. And then we're going to distribute it over the ab. It's going to be ab times a plus b plus now we're going to go ahead and multiply x by these two terms. That's going to be the x times a plus b times x. So that's going to be a plus b times x squared. That's going to be the quadratic term. And then finally, multiply x by a b. Then you're going to get a b x. And of course, this is equal to a b x. Does that make sense? a b x and a b x, we can go ahead and cancel them out. So abx cancels out, and that's the only thing that cancels out. Cool. Now we get a plus b quantity squared x plus a b a plus b plus a plus b x squared. Maybe I should write it as a quadratic first. So let's write this one first. a plus b x squared. And then the x term, the coefficient of x is a plus b squared. And the constant term is a b multiplied by a plus b. And of course, the whole thing is equal to 0. Which makes this which makes this a full quadratic. So what do you do with this quadratic? Solve it. And what is the best way to solve any quadratic? The quadratic formula, right? So let's go ahead and see how we can use the quadratic formula. Before that, though, there's something you can factor out. Notice that a plus b is a common factor, so we can take it out. Then inside we have x squared plus a plus b times x because one of the a plus b's is outside plus a b equals 0. Now, what does this mean? This means that either a plus b is 0 or x squared plus a plus b x plus a b is equal to 0. There are basically two possibilities. If a plus b is equal to 0, what is going to happen? Think about the original problem. We have 1 over x, not 1 over x, 1 over a, b, a plus b plus x, and then equals the sum of the reciprocals, right? So if a plus b is 0, this is going to be 0, which means a and b are opposites, which means 1 over a and 1 over b are opposites, or in other words, you can write a as negative b, and so it's going to be 1 over b minus 1 over b. In other words, it's going to be 0. You can also write it this way, a plus b times divided by a b. Since a plus b is 0, 
this is zero. We know a, b is not zero. How do we know that? a and b, did we say that? a and b should be different from zero, obviously. a, b should be different from zero. Okay? Cool. So what do you get from here? If a plus b is equal to zero, this cancels out, this cancels out, we end up with 1 over x equals 1 over x. Obviously, x should not equal 0, right? But other than that, anything will work. So in other words, any value except for 0 will work, okay? This is always true. Only exception is x equals 0. Now, what happens if a plus b does not equal 0? That's the fun part, right? Then we're going to have to deal with the quadratic, let's rewrite it, x squared plus a plus b multiplied by x plus ab equals 0. To solve this quadratic equation, there's a couple different ways to go about it. I'm going to introduce the quadratic formula first because it solves every quadratic, right? So let's use it. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared which is the same as that, minus 4ab. And that over 2a, which is 2, because a is 1. Now, this gives us something interesting. Let's go ahead and simplify the discriminant. This is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus 4ab. And if you simplify, you're going to get a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, which is a minus b quantity squared. Yes, this is awesome, right? Now, if you go ahead and replace that expression under the radical with this, square root of square, they're going to cancel out. So you have something like this, the square root of a minus b squared, and these two are going to cancel out. Of course, you're going to get a plus minus sign, but we already have a plus minus sign, so it'll be taken care of. Make sense? So here's x. x equals negative a minus b plus minus a minus b, the square root of a minus b squared. Make sense? Divide by 2. This gives us two solutions, so let's go ahead and split them up. x equals negative a minus b plus a minus b divided by 2. Here a cancels out, we get negative 2b over 2. 2b or not to be, allow me to say that once. x equals negative b. And if you take the other one, negative a minus b, or minus a minus b, minus a plus b, then this one, b's are going to cancel out. Negative a is going to be the other solution. So those are the solutions, negative a and negative b. And if you plug them in, you're going to notice that they actually work. But here is my alternative, the second method, okay? When you have an equation like this, all you have to think about is the following. This is a trinomial, right? So you're thinking, Find two numbers whose product is AB and whose sum is A plus B. And those numbers are A and B. Easy, right? A and B, that's it. So we can factor it as X plus A, X plus B equals zero. From here, X equals negative A and X equals negative B are solutions. And guess what? When you look at the graph of something like this, you're going to have to deal with parameters. Obviously, I just picked A equals 1 and B equals 3, but you can play with this in Desmos. And depending on the values of ABC, obviously, you're going to get different solutions. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.